welcome to micro communication course today we start here a impact diode so we have seen earlier that a impact diode and its family that is about array diode we have seen so now today we see here a impact diode and it is constructed through the p plus n and a n plus material now this one we say plus is nothing but a highly dopant material and here if you see how that impact diode is going to be constructed or fabricated so it's just like we have a a n type semiconductor and then with through this n type so left side it there will be p plus and right side there will be a n plus one so now this one is a fabricated and uh, this uh, a diode we uh, if you consider that it is to be work in a, a reverse bias reverse bias voltage there so now how it is to be work here so now here we suppose if you see that this one is about a impact diode or this one is about a impact diode here it is about a gold alloy contact and this all other this one is about a cathode and this one is about a anode and along with that there will be a heat sink okay if you see that this particular portion is going to be considered as a heat sink here so now how it will be so this particular portion will be act as a heat sink there okay so this one is a portion we say that this is nothing but a heat sink this one is a part of a heat sink here and this uh, remaining portion that is a part of a, a ceramic case this one is a part of a ceramic case here Okay, so this one we say this one is the part of a ceramic case here, and we say that this one is belongs to the a cathode here. Okay, this one is belongs to a cathode. Now this one is a heat sink. Okay, this one is a an anode, and this one is a cathode. Now if you see here, so this one is a cathode here. Okay. And a anode. The anode uh, for this given anode, we supposed to consider that a heat sink. Why that heat sink is to be used? So we should know that impact diode is to be used for the uh, maximum output power there. Okay, it provides the maximum output power as well as the efficiency. Since this particular diode is operated in the reverse breakdown region there, so then because of that. reverse breakdown region a large amount of a current flows through it and because of that it produces a amount of heat okay so now because of that large current so there will be heat generated and that's why we supposed to use a heat sink to protect the diode from the whatever the heat generated inside the diode here so this one we discuss that about the diode here. and we supposed to consider the heat sink here to protect the diode to avoid the whatever the heat generated there if supposed to be we are not using a heat sink here so then efficiency of the diode is going to be reduced there so that's why so to get the high power okay as well as the high efficiency there so we supposed to use a metallic heat sink here so this one is about a heat sink that's about a metal heat sink on the particular uh, there on this metal heat sink there will be a device so if you consider the any impact diode so that heat sink is nothing but a integral part of the device it is at the time of manufacturing that heat sink will uh, along with this device that will come with the device there okay so that that's why we say that a heat sink is nothing but a integral part of a impact diode there. now how to fabricate this one we say that here we have a p plus n and n plus okay so means at this center here so we supposed to consider that a n type semiconductor there and then through the left side we supposed to use a p plus region that is about a high highly dopant one then right side we supposed to use a n plus region again it is a highly dopant only this one Okay, that is about a n one. 
is not dopamine. So this one P plus and N plus region that is about a highly dopamine. So now this one is about a junction form with a P plus and N here. And through that, so whatever the carriers are generated, that is propagating through this or move through this region there. Now, again, uh, we are supposed to consider that this particular junction, okay, this P and N junction, now carrier generation here, and it is propagating. And we say that it is, this diode is work in a reduced breakdown voltage. So, how much is the DC field we are applying to the diode? So, based on that, so in the, uh, your, that ionization, impact ionization takes place inside the a diode. That impact diode, so impact ionization transit time diode. Okay, so that's why that name of the diode is going to be say that the impact diode here. And here, okay, so this here we have this one is about impact diode, this particular portion. And here we use a gold wire. Okay, so that that is used to connect the uh, whatever the surface we have for the given diode. So now these are about the a surface. Okay, so means we have this junction and we suppose to connect a bias to this plate and this plate. Means we say a cathode and an anode likewise. So we when we connect a, a bias to the device, so in that case that bias whatever the surface we are connecting, that surface is made up of a, a TI thin layer. Okay. And that TI thin layer is develop using the evaporation technique. Now, how to develop this particular impact diode? So, that the process to develop this one is about, we suppose to consider one, develop one particular bar, okay, instead of uh, developing only a single P plus N and N plus structure, so instead of that, a, we suppose to develop a large semiconductor bar. Large semiconductor bar means just like we have supposed to be this much is about a bar. Okay. Now then we have to cut the sections, and these sections is to be used as a this, each and every sections to be used as a, a impact diode. Now then, why this particular large bar is going to be developed? Because if you consider that a small sections of this P plus and this uh, P plus N and N plus here. Okay. If you suppose to consider is is that developing a small or fabricating a small impact diode, so their characteristics will be vary if you develop another one. So if you consider the large number of bar is to be developed, and then if you cut this each and every section, so in which it has a P plus N and N plus is there. So in that case, when we separate that impact diode from the particular bar. What will happen? So all the diodes, they have the same characteristics. Okay, or they are because they constructed or they manufacture at the same time. So that's why that particular bar have bar is having the same characteristics. So that's why when we cut the section, so every diode will work identical. Okay, they looks like identical and their characteristics are identical there. So that's why instead of developing only the P plus N uh, N plus small structure, so that uh, that impact diode is to be constructed using the large semiconductor bar. Okay, so now we consider here a, la a large number of a bar is to be developed, and according to that, we supposed to develop the we are supposed to find out the uh, sections of this particular bar there. Okay, so identical section to be cut here and so that that will be work as a, a, a diode there. Now, then uh, we say earlier, this impact diode is work at a high power, high efficiency. So we require a heat sink. So while uh, purchasing or while getting the impact diode from the market, so it includes the heat sink. This your package, whatever the whatever the device consists it device we are getting so that device consists of the heat sink which will get the device along with the heat sink okay and then uh, then uh, you 
we have seen earlier that uh, that treat diet now the principle of operation or we can say that the impact ionization transit time diet so similarly it generate a carriers and it is to be propagating from when we apply the bias to this so it will be propagating to this okay so this one so similar similar way that read diet what we have learned so similarly this diet is going to be working then this one is about the equivalent circuit of impact diode so here we consider that equivalent circuit this one this one is about impact circuit that is about rd and cd and this particular portion is supposed to be called as a external circuit external circuit means what whenever the current generated inside the particular diode it uh, provides or it that current is propagating to the external circuit there okay so this way we supposed to consider that that is about a external circuit. so impact diode can be manufactured using a germanium silicon gallium arsenide indium phosphide okay so so that will get the high power as well as the high efficiency there so mostly our aim is about the that diode is to work at a highest operating frequency okay so then which family of a semiconductor will provide a say, high efficiency as well as high power as well as the highest operating frequency so here we consider that a gallium as arsenide if you consider so if you use or if you fabricate the gallium arsenide impact that it is more difficult and costlier as compared to the silicon so impact that if you consider it is to be used as a, a silicon there. but in the case of what we can say that noise and other parts so gallium arsenide is good okay as compared to the, your power efficiency and all so then gallium arsenide is a good as compared to the a silicon there now what are the applications of uh, this uh, impact diode so generally the impact diode is used as a oscillator okay so impact diode is used as a oscillator there so how that oscillator is going to be developed there so generally we supposed to use a waveguide cavity and then along with the cavity we supposed to consider a a uh, sliding screw here or a sliding shot and then that sliding shot is to use to develop the whatever the cavity inside the a guide here. okay now this one is about a, a impact diode mounted in the a wave guide here. now this one is about your we supposed to consider that this one is about our wave guide here. okay now this one is about our wave guide okay now this one is about our wave guide now we here we say that we have the a short now this short is nothing but what at the end so it will generate one particular cavity so that's why this is nothing but a a short sliding short we say this is about a sliding short now then uh, then we have the a impact diode here so when we consider the impact diode so it has some particular post and then post as well as some this gap here okay now this one is about this one is about a post and this one is about a this gap this one is about a, a post here. and through this we supposed to apply the a bias here and then uh, your impact diode now this one is about a impact diode so we can say that impact diode okay so now this one is about a wave guide here so now this impact diode is mounting in the wave guide now this one is about your guide so one end is about a shorting uh, sliding short here so sliding short means what when we supposed to slide this one so the cavity changes so cavity changes means what a resonant frequency change okay so that's why this particular diode will work as a oscillator now how it is work as a oscillator so it is mounted inside the wave guide there okay we say that it just create one some particular cavity there 
and then how we are applying that a bias to the impactor so generally we say a reverse bias is applied there so if you consider that a, a cavity now here okay so that particular cavity is generally producing some impedance so cavity has a inductive impedance here because we are supposed to use a sliding chart so that's why it generate a inductive impedance and this impact diode has a, a capacitive impedance so add the resonance so that capacitive impedance and the inductive impedance generated here okay so this for this impact capacitor capacitive inductor and for this cavity it is about inductive so add the resonance so both the capacitive impedance and a inductive impedance cancels each other so that's why so your circuit whole circuit or whole structure will be used as a, a resonator there so that is about a wave guide here so generally in wave guide mounting so that impact diode is mounted in such a way that at a bottom of a rectangular surface means that is rectangular wall uh, that uh, that is about a, a broader wall okay so broader wall means what so this one is about a, a rectangular guide now now okay so now this one is about a broader wall so at this at the bottom of the broader wall that impact diode is going to be okay, connected or it is to be mounted there so okay this one this way we and here we have a a disc cap structure that is placed on this diode so that is a part of what we can say a a packaging there so that we supposed to consider that that this cap is connected to the impact so that is with that way that will be a, a part of the uh, a particular packaging here so when we consider that a moving this particular sliding this particular shot so in the given end so then their impedance is going to be a vary there so to match the impedance we supposed to consider that the sliding shot in such a way that your diode will resonate okay so means will get the oscillated output here so instead of a wave guide we can use the same impact diode instead of a wave guide we can mount that wave guide that sorry instead of a wave guide we can mount that impact diode in a coaxial cable we consider that a coaxial line instead of a wave guide there and for a coaxial line what whatever the tuning elements are there that is resistance capacitance inductor okay so according to that that impedance of that particular coaxial line and this diode is going to work so based on that whatever the tuning elements we are using in a coaxial line according to that we'll get the operating frequency of the a diode there this impact diode is work mostly okay so we say that it is work as a oscillator there so where it is to be used that oscillator that impact diode so it is to be used mostly in a a radar there or it is to be used uh, for the transmission purpose we can say that fm transmitter or a, a doppler radar so that is about the uh, we can say that a impact diode application and disadvantages of the impact diode so mainly we say that earlier we say that there is about a heat generated and because of that impact diode has a, a noise there so we consider that what will be the a noise figure okay but during at the time of uh, working we sub and earlier we say that it has a high power and a high efficiency and because of that heat is generated and so that's why this becomes a noise there so in which whatever the whatever the device construction we say p plus n and that process avalanche multiplication process takes place at the junction p plus n junction and because of that avalanche process process at that p plus n junction so that device becomes a more noisy and it has a noise figure which is about a, a 30 db and that particular noise uh, that that will be affected to the, the microwave oscillation then then again we supposed to know that what will be the operating frequency or we can say that a tuning range of the given particular diode 
so we write here the characteristics of impact diode so generally that operating frequency range for the given particular diode it is about a sorry 8 gigahertz to few hundred gigahertz okay that is about a operating frequency that is about 8 gigahertz to few hundred gigahertz and a pulse output power so cw okay that we can say that a pulse output power is equal to 100 watt at a 10 gigahertz okay that 100 watt at 10 gigahertz okay so then we can say that we have a cw output power so we suppose consider that cw radar okay so in that case your output will be a 10 watt at a 10 gigahertz and efficiency of the given diode is about a 15 percent okay that is about your impact diode next uh, we learn here a trapped diode all these diodes belongs to the impact diode family so that read diode impact diode then now we will we see next diode that is about a, a trapped diode now we say that earlier impact diodes impact ionization means we say that avalanche process okay at the p plus n junction now here trapped diode means what a trapped plasma avalanche trigger transit time diode and right here say that trapped plasma okay trapped plasma avalanche okay triggered transit time okay now transit time is what a process of what generation of that electrons and reach to the another one okay another place if supposed to be say that p plus n junction earlier case that whatever the carriers are generated that carrier is supposed to be passed toward the other end there so that is about a transit time now here through this plasma okay through this plasma so avalanche process occurs okay multiplication we say that earlier avalanche multiplication takes place in the given region so here that is about a trap plasma okay so we supposed to consider that whatever the electrons and holes are generated and in a given region so that is about a plasma region okay so that is what we consider here okay so that's why we say it is about a, a trapped plasma avalanche transit time diode there so how the structure looks like okay so generally the trapped diode if you see that it has a n plus here region highly dopant one and that is a p plus here. this one is again a highly dopant and this one is about a region that is about a large one that is about a p1 okay now this one highly dopant and this one is again a highly dopant and we supposed to consider that while uh, we give the bias it is supposed to work in a reverse bias so that's why we say that it is to be at a ground here and we supposed to give a, some particular pulse or we can say that a current okay so through this okay so we say that this one is about a pulse supposed to be applied okay at this particular end so means it is to be operating on the a given particular pulse okay so that is about we can say a impact diode now in sorry trapped diode here so trapped diode it has a high efficiency there okay it uh, gives us a high and uh, it is to be used as a microwave generator here and that can be operated at a few megahertz to a several gigahertz and if we construct that 
it wrapper diode here so we can consider that p plus n n plus or n plus p p plus so both the way we can construct here i just show you that n plus so you can consider that n plus p okay p plus here okay then now we can consider that a p plus n or n plus now this one is about a a trapper diode when we constructing so this diode this particular p or n so that okay to this side there will be n plus to that side that will be p plus okay so here we supposed to use a n plus p and p plus here yeah? so in that case the width of this particular region so whichever we say here right now okay that width is about a a large there or if we consider right now i suppose to say that now this one is about a n now okay this way we can have the structure now so in that case the if supposed to be the this one is about a n type here so in that case it will be a p plus and a n plus but the width of this region it is generally a large because this region is called a depletion layer or a we supposed to say that a depletion region because this one is about a junction so whichever the carriers are generated that is to be propagating toward the another side so this one is about a complete this width for the p layer or a n layer that will be considered as a, a depletion layer and these are the highly dopant one here okay so when we apply a bias to this one so then this diode will work at some particular breakdown voltage okay so we supposed to know that at the particular junction whatever the carriers are generated that carriers to be moved toward the another end so what will be the velocity of that carrier this what that velocity is called as a drift velocity okay so at what particular bias voltage or a dc voltage so that drift velocity will be increased here so that we supposed to get the uh, what you can say a maximum field here okay and then at what uh, breakdown voltage so diode supposed to uh, increase their current okay at what particular point so that we supposed to be learn here so generally we supposed to say that a drift velocity has some particular level and that drift velocity has a level it is depending upon that what will be the a breakdown voltage well so that dc velocity level will reach okay before the a breakdown of this a diode so that's why we supposed to consider that this diode is work in a punch through at a, a background okay so we say that carrier generated there and they have some particular velocity so and that velocity has some particular level okay at that particular voltage velocity level okay process starts okay plasma generation starts. so that and then that process before the breakdown voltage so that's why this particular diode is called as a punch through at a, a background there. and then uh, this particular region that n plus or p plus Okay, if you say that this one is about a wider one, even wider one, so these particular regions are nothing but a very very thin region. So if you com compare in terms of a uh, length now, okay, as compared to this one, it has a high length, and this one is about a small length. So in terms of a measurement, okay, and so diode diode is work as a microwave generator. So we say that. we get the cw output okay means that is about we say that it is work in a work at a frequency of a few megahertz there several gigahertz there so that's why this particular diode will work in a earlier we say that the porting low frequency there okay so because it is in from megahertz to gigahertz there so that's why it is a, it we say that it is work in a, a low frequency there and so what will be the particular 
bias voltage we supposed to apply the given diode okay so i'll draw here diagram so that we get at what particular place that plasma formation will be it takes place okay so we consider here right now this is about our okay when we say that n plus p p p plus here and then uh, we supposed to consider this uh, this one is about a length and this one is about our a field and here we have the a particular junction okay or these are the junction okay n plus p junction now now field increases here because we apply the a bias so certain at certain point your field is going to be increased there and then we consider here at certain particular point the field is increases now okay i am just going to consider right now here here suppose so that it is going to be decreases here then again increases then decreases again with a decrease so then that is about a a drift velocity okay along with that whatever a depletion region we have then at particular period of a time we say that a t1 now okay this one happen some particular period of a time it is about another time here will be increases now like way so now if you consider the time here so this one is about is t1 t2 and is t3 and this one is about is t4 t5 and t6 and along with that we supposed to apply some bias so that's why we say that here we are getting some a velocity that is about a, a drift velocity okay so basic operation if you consider the a trapped diode here so just like we say that how your pn junction diode will work in a reverse bias so same way this diode is going to be work here but earlier we say that earlier re diode and impedance diode there is a avalanche operation takes place here but here if the reverse bias across this particular diode will increases with the voltage okay so then what will happen here that uh, that breakdown voltage okay so if what we can say that if the reverse bias across the diode is increased above the breakdown voltage then what happen then initially we say that a current is going to be increased okay at the particular breakdown voltage then current will increases as with the whatever the bias okay. then the current will reach at some particular high value okay in the given p region or a n region right now we say that here is n plus and p plus so now here the current current generation takes place okay but here at this particular region so that's why the current is a large here it will be a high here why it is high because here at this particular junction a pair at this particular junction we say that a more number of electrons and holes are produced and that are produced by the ionization process and that process is supposed to be called as a, a plasma okay because we supposed to apply here a reverse bias to the diode then the diode will work okay when that voltage applied is more than the a breakdown voltage okay then a diode current will increase and then at the even if we further increase the voltage applied as per the whatever the breakdown voltage of the diode then a current will be high so current will be high at some particular stage there in the given region that is n or a p region that is about a depletion region we say here and then we consider that will get that a electron and hole okay because at this n plus and p plus region that 
ओल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर फील्ड ये ओके बिकॉज सम एम्प्टी स्टेट्स एंड ए फील्ड स्टेट सो दैट्स वाई दैट ओल्ड एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर ए फील्ड दैट हियर इट विल बी फील्ड एंड देन मोर नंबर ऑफ ए प्लाज्मा जनरेटेड ओके एंड देन दैट प्लाज्मा विल जनरेट ए लार्जर पोटेंशियल एट दिस पर्टिकुलर जंक्शन एंड देन व्हाट हैपन हियर इवन इफ वी सपोज टू अप्लाई द रिवर्स बायस because of that plasma generation it opposes the whatever the applied dc voltage and because that's why the diode voltage will reduce to a some certain value there okay that is why you can say that that term certain low value there here how so we can consider that in terms of a t1 and t2 what uh, junction forms and everything will be take the shape so that we will see here. okay and then uh, because we say that it opposes the dc voltage so that's why we supposed to consider that a diode will exhibit in a negative resistance region where we say that whatever the generally we say that high voltage generally initially okay and a low current state and then a low voltage state to the high current okay so that about the stages because it will work initially it is about high voltage current increases there then your current then voltage drops there okay it opposes the dc bias voltage okay so likewise we can say that initially high voltage low current then then uh, the stage another stage is about a low voltage and a high current stage so this one is about a a process of a plasma takes place in this particular region there so when so this one this suppose this diode is work when we supposed to apply some particular pulse there if the pulse is applied to the diode then and then your uh, whatever the we can say that a diode a, in the a breakdown region okay so then diode current is going to be increased there so it is depending upon that what type what current pulse supposed to be applied and what will be the a okay, value of that particular pulse particular pulse there and then we supposed to reach some maximum electric field at particular point now here okay this one so we say that this one is about a t1 okay at this particular point this one is about a field t2 then t3 okay so we said that particular time at the this current pulse is of a time dependent j of t okay current pulse is of a time dependent so j of t it is about a time dependent current density so then we supposed to get the maximum electric field at a different level and so what what particular value the breakdown occur so if it goes beyond that a particular t3 if that time it goes beyond this t3 then it reaches the a breakdown voltage and because of that this if the t is greater than t3 okay if t is greater than t3 a huge number of electron hole pairs are generated and because of that we will get a what we can say that okay this diode exhibit in a uh, we just get the uh, oscillated output here okay so that is about your a fundamental of the of fundamental operation of this particular a trapped so at what particular field we will get the a breakdown voltage so we say that e is equal to whatever the electric field we apply and what will be the a breakdown voltage so we say that at t is greater than a t3 okay so maximum electric field at the when we say that a time dependent current density is more than that t3 there then a large number of electron hole pair generated so that's why there will be current will be increased there okay and then because of that particular current rise in this particular region okay that is about a drift region here so then what happen here at that particular point we say that a is equal to ab and then uh, then a whatever the pairs generated they move toward the ap plus region okay and then p plus region so that's why we say that 
T4, T5, and T6 because they have some particular velocity. Okay, that is about a trip velocity. That electron hole pair they have some velocity, and then that electron hole pairs are there. They will reach to the uh, this P plus junction or a, a P another end here. Okay, but so that that is that process here to generate a large number of electrons and hole pair. That is about a avalanche here. Okay, and then again it will move rapidly toward the this region here. Okay, P plus region. So that's why we supposed to consider that that P region here because it will fill that whatever the electron on hole plasma in that particular P region and then it is supposed to be reached to this layer. And then at the E here at this particular site, okay, this one P and P plus side. So no electron hole pair generated, okay, no plasma generation takes place. Only plasma generation takes place only in this region that is about a, a P region. So that's why we'll get the high current at a e is equal to e b. So here we consider that a n plus and a p plus there. And if you consider that a current and their profile, so we can consider that a field current and its profile there. So we suppose to consider that this one is about a field here. Okay, so we say that. Uh, when we supposed to consider that a diode is going to be recovered, it's low here. So in that case, be field will be likewise. So in that case, these are about the we can say that a field states. Okay, we say that we have the electrons there likewise. That's about we supposed to consider that this region. So we have a large number of a electrons and holes are there. Okay. This one is a hole. I think you people are able to see the same. Okay. So this one is about a field one. Okay, this one is because the n plus here, so that's by electron. And this one is a p plus, okay, so likewise. So here in this region, a large number of electrons and holes are generated. Okay, so this one. So this one is about a region. Here we can consider that. The slow recovery and if you consider that a fast recovery of this one so in which this particular case here so we suppose to consider that this particular portion is going to be removed okay so likewise that's about your electric field and in terms of a waveform here when we apply some particular bias voltage here this one v here what will happen to the voltage waveform and a current wave generally we say that a small voltage rise initially okay small voltage rise initially then suddenly it will drop okay suddenly it will drop here and then again it will be increases there it will be constant throughout the region and then again it will be increases and suddenly it will be drop here so that is about a, a voltage waveform and a current waveform if you consider the same here now so it's according to the same here, the current is increases. Okay, so same here. But when breakdown reaches, so in that case there will be a current, constant current. Okay. So then your voltage increases there, so current drops. Okay, so current drops here, and then your current will be increased like that. So that is about a, a current wave form. Then how this diode is to be used? So generally we are supposed to consider that a trapped diode. It works as the oscillator there. So it produces a high output power. Okay. High output power here with a very high efficiency. Okay. And then efficiency is generally, if you consider that a operating frequency here, so it is about a 0.5 to 10 gigahertz there. And pulsed output power okay it will be of 1.2 kilowatt at a at 1.1 gigahertz 
then a we say that is gw output power equal to 1 to 3 watt here and efficiency equal to 15 to 50 percent and a noise figure is greater than the 30 db okay that's about a noise figure so how it is to be used so this particular trapper diode so we can consist consider that a trapper diode you can use a coaxial circuit to form the a impact diode so just like we supposed to consider that we have a trapper diode there now this one is about a trapper diode and then this one is about a coaxial trapper diode here so this one is about a trapper diode so it has a heat sink and these are the tuners to be used movable tuner so this one is used to tune the a given circuit and this one is about your trapper diode so this way we supposed to consider that a trapper diode so and here we supposed to use a heat sink and this one is the body portion of a, a trapper diode so this way we can develop a trapper diode that will that can be used as a micro generator there. so that's all about a, a trapper diode uh, so we supposed to uh, stop here now so we we have learned today that a impact diode and trapper diode both are working at a high power and high efficiency there okay and uh, on a in next session, we learn that a barrier diode, pin diode, and a barrier diode. So, thank you all of you. Thanks all.